I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. Earlier in the week I posted a video about egg sandwiches and I showed some hamburger buns that I had made and ever since then people have just been begging me to uh, do the hamburger buns and I promised that I would do it and that's what I'm doing now. So we're going to show you how I make hamburger buns. These couldn't be any easier and they have very few ingredients but they render an amazing hamburger bun. And this recipe is going to make 12 hamburger buns the way I'm going to make them. What we have in the bowl is one cup of warm water to which we are going to add one quarter cup of granulated sugar, a tablespoon of instant yeast. This is the SAF instant yeast that I like to use. We're going to add one egg and try and make sure your egg is at room temperature. And I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Just give it a bit of a, a mix. That egg doesn't want to... <laughs> Sorry, honey. I'm just going to go ahead and start adding you my just flour. every 12 year old bubble. No, I just crushed the yolk. No. That's all I did. Okay, I'm going to add three cups of flour, and then we may have to add up to an additional cup. It just depends. This is going to be a stickier dough because of the yeast, I mean the egg, and I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt, but I always do that on top of the flour. Can this be done without a mixer? You can do this without a mixer. It's just a lot easier with a mixer. Spoke too soon. We did. I forgot. I had butter softening. This is three tablespoons of butter that needs to go into this dough. Make sure you put it in there. Just remember, if you forget the butter at pretty much any point, it's never too late to add it back in, of course, unless you've already risen it that once. That shouldn't change anything. It doesn't. It doesn't change anything. We're going to go ahead and mix this in, and then we'll see the consistency of the dough. I'm going to add that extra half cup of flour at this point. Mm. That ought to do it. I'm going to give it something to bite into. Mm -hmm. There we go. A little friction. Yeah. No harm, no foul. It's all good. See, no matter what happens, you can always fix it. This isn't rocket science, it's just cooking. No problem. We all make mistakes. Okay, I'm going to let this knead for five to seven minutes and we'll be back in just a second. Hey, we're done. We kneaded it for five minutes. I'm going to take this dough hook out. Look at that. There we go. Pull the dough hook out of the dough. Nice clean sides. Nice clean sides. The dough is really beautiful. So I'm just going to scrape it out for a second here. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to grab my misto and I'm going to spray the inside of my bowl just a little bit so mm. that it doesn't, you know, stick. I'm going to turn the dough. It's really beautiful. It's nice and clean. It's not sticky. It is smooth and feels really good. Okay, so into that bowl it goes and give it a spray on top just so it doesn't dry out. We're going to head it, go ahead and put a bonnet on it. We're going to let it raise, sit and rest until it has risen double its size. This can take up to an hour and a half. Let this rise slowly, okay? And then when it's time to form the, um, the buns, we'll come back and we'll show you how I do that. It's been about an hour and a half because I was off busy doing other things. This dough is exactly where I want it. It's about tripled in size very honestly. We're going to go ahead and deflate it and you can see it's just the way you want it. It's full of air but that is going to make for a really nice hamburger bun. I'm just going to deflate it gently into the bowl. Don't punch your dough. Don't be mean to the dough. It didn't do anything to you. It's just being dough so please don't hurt it. Okay? Punching it isn't necessary. You can just deflate it gently. Maybe fun but it's not necessary. That's, that's very true. I hate that. 
Don't don't punch your dough. Okay, we're gonna take it out of the bowl there. Explain yourself. Explain myself. <laughs> You're the one who said make them three ounces. It's Rick's fault. Hmm. He said just do three ounces. Okay, there's eleven buns. Okay, so it is what it is. You can divide it in half and half and half and get twelve buns. It's okay. So we're both one short of a dozen here. We are. We're also a couple bricks shy of a load, so we're the perfect match, okay? So we're just rolling these against the board so that you're using a little bit of force so that the bottom kind of comes together. And as you swirl it and roll it in your hand, it's going to become very smooth, and then the bottom is going to become smooth too. So what you want to do is mash it. And remember, this is going to be a hamburger bun, and hamburger buns aren't like dinner rolls, so you want to make sure that you mash it, because you're going to set these to rise again, and they're going to rise up just like hamburger buns. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give this a little bit of a spray, because I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap, and I'm going to let it sit for another hour, and I'm going to let these rise again until they're double in size. I'm also going to preheat my oven about a half an hour before they go in at 350 degrees and then we're going to come back. I'll show you what they look like because there's one more thing we have to do to these before we put them in the oven. So when these have doubled, we'll come back and I'll show you what happens next. All right, these have risen for a little over an hour. I was in the, in the middle of getting dinner ready. We're having sloppy joes for supper mm -hmm. tonight. There's only one thing you have to do before you put these in the oven. I've melted half. Then that's for you. Sammy, wait, it's a good thing you can't reach. Okay, you have to um, melt one half stick of butter, which is four tablespoons, okay? So melt a quarter of a cup of butter. And then you're going to brush the tops of these buns very gently with a with a bake, you know, pastry brush. I have one of these silicone pastry brushes and I love it. I have actually more than one. Um, just gently brush the tops with the butter. This is going to give you that beautiful golden brown finish. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And we're going to bake these for 15 to 18 minutes until they're perfectly golden brown. And when you tap one, it sounds hollow. Okay, so don't press on these when you're brushing them or you'll deflate them and you'll totally have to re-rise them. So you just want to be very gentle and you want a nice smooth brush. You want to make sure that you don't have an old paint brush and you don't have a nasty old pastry brush that the bristles are starting to come out of because that nobody wants to eat that. That's just gross. Okay? So invest, pay the extra money and get a silicone pastry brush. It'll make all the difference in your baking. Okay, these are going in a 350 degree oven for 15 to 18 minutes and the sun is really coming in my kitchen window mm -hmm. and when these are ready to come out I'll be back and I'll show you what they look like. Hey, our burger buns are ready to come out of the oven. Beautiful just like they should be. Now we're gonna take the other half of this melted butter. Oh first let's check them. Yep. Give them a tap 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 they sound hollow. They're perfect. Yes. And then you're awesome. just going to brush the buns with the remaining melted butter. And this is going to keep them soft. I forgot to mention, I don't like um, seeded buns for hamburgers or sloppy joes. But if you want to put seeds or any kind of like sprinkle on your buns, then you're going to want to do that before you put them in the oven and after you put the melted butter on them the first time. That way the butter will help that stick to the buns while they're baking. And then when they come out, you're going to want to brush them again because that's going to help keep the um, top crust soft and supple and it's going to be oh so tasty. And you really do only need like four tablespoons of butter is going to be the perfect amount and if you spread it out right you're going to have enough to do every single one of them. And like I said we did um, three ounce rolls and we got 11 rolls because that's about right. There's about 34 ounces in the amount of dough that we had. Um, but you can divide if you want to make dinner rolls out of this dough you can do that too. It's no big deal. But that is how 
you make hamburger buns and then um, after these cool for a few minutes I'll come back and I'll slice one open so you can see the inside texture um, and I'll show you what that looks like so when these are ready to serve I'll come back and I'll show you what those look like I'm gonna go ahead and cut one of these puppies open for you they're still a little warm and soft so you really want them to cool all the way but I want you to see what they look like you ready look at that they're beautiful they're perfect mm -hmm. they're hamburger buns yes. all right you'll never buy hamburger buns again when you stop to think I mean it doesn't really cost that much more to buy them to make them than it does to buy them bread is expensive in the store mm -hmm. especially good bread and you know what else you know what's in these right and There's, it's a good thing to learn how to do knowing how to make bread is essential in my opinion it's as important as knowing how to drive and how to swim and how to type there are just certain things in life that everybody needs to know right, how to Sissy? do you right that's right huh sissy no thumbs hmm. you can't make bread you got no thumbs so that's how you make hamburger buns I hope that you enjoyed it because everybody's been clamoring at me ever since I put up that video I can't wait to see you put up the hamburger bun video well here it is I hope it was helpful I hope you try it I hope you love it thank you for stopping by my kitchen today and helping me and watching me make these hamburger buns I hope that you make some hamburger buns soon and until next time I'll see ya